Hey guys, it's M, and today I'm going to be talking about online school. First of all, I just want to point out that I'm sorry there wasn't a video that went up last week. I actually had one all edited. I even have a thumbnail for it. I tried to upload it first. It, my computer crashed. I couldn't do it. Then I tried to upload it again. It took nine hours to upload, and then it got copyrighted, and it was past Valentine's Day by then, and I was like, I can't do this. Like... I'm so sorry, it was a DIY Valentine's Day treat, so let me know if you guys still want me to put that up, I guess, I don't really know, but whatever, that is not the topic for today. So, I do online school, and I'm a junior, I'm 16 years old, and the reason for doing online school is not because of YouTube, uh, so don't comment and say if you did this just for YouTube, that's really dumb, because it's not, it's not any reason towards why I did online school. So the first thing is that I do Connections Academy. I'm pretty sure it's available in pretty much most states and I don't think you can do private but some schools you can do private or public. I do public. I'm pretty sure that's the only option I can but I don't really see a difference between public and private online school. My school, you don't have to pay anything, so I know I assume private schools will have to pay money or depending on the school you pick, it will. One thing I would say is definitely don't do online school if you aren't 100% sure about it because even me being 100% sure about doing online school, sometimes I still miss public school. So I wouldn't do it unless you 100% know that you can and you're gonna do it. One thing I know that a lot of people have questions about is how do I convince my parents to let me do online school? Now, I guess it just depends on your parents, but my mom was so, so against me doing online school this year. And honestly, I worked on it the whole entire summer. I brought it up during the school year. One thing that I did to convince or help convince my parents is I wrote a paper and it was like a five page long paper on the pros, the cons, how it can help me, how I can counteract the cons to doing online school and make them good. Did that make sense? I don't know. You don't want to not mention any cons because then they'll think that there's something really bad that you just don't want them to know about for online school. So address the con and tell them how you'll fight back to the con. <laughs> fight the man. And I also feel like if you're not a very motivated person that online school is definitely not for you. I'm pretty motivated and you have to be very self-disciplined and everything and I still get overdue lessons. I'm not perfect. I'm a human. I sometimes don't do my schoolwork for a couple days and then do it all in one day. But hey, whatever. It's one of the pros of doing online school is that you can kind of pick and choose when you do it, except you don't want to like wait a week and then do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you have a day, you know, if you don't want to do it today, if you're super busy, then you don't have to do it that day and you can just do it the next day. Like it's not, yeah. Basically, how my day works or how my school works is I wake up whenever. I don't really have a set time. I honestly sleep until like afternoon-ish, 12 usually. Then I usually have, I like set up in the kitchen at the dining room table because that's just where I like to be. I like to have the TV on, it's background noise. I like background noise or I'll have music going and then I usually make breakfast breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it, um, and be working on a lesson or two while I'm cooking. And then I'll take a break while I eat and I'll watch some YouTube videos or I'll just like do whatever, just chill, watch TV, actually pay attention to the TV. And then once I'm done eating, I will go back to doing my lessons. It does not take all day to do your lessons at all. I'm done probably within three hours at least and I guess it really depends on your pace too. It really depends like if you're a really really slow worker and you're always behind in like normal public school then it's nice because you go on your own pace. You can do take as long as you want to do one lesson and that's fine and vice versa you can go as fast as you want so it's really nice that you get to do you know your own pace. 
and it's not like you if you don't know what to do you can call or email your teacher or with my school we have live lesson rooms where you can just go in and type out a question and your teacher will answer and a lot of times at the beginning of the semester your teacher will call you and be like hey yo what up today like how are you doing you excited cool bye and that's it super super easy it's not awkward at all so basically every day you have certain lessons to do you might not have a class every single day i have i don't know how many classes i have i have algebra 2b honors world history which is just ap his world history art history b english 11b chemistry b I'm missing one, I know it. But yeah, I just have pretty easy classes. And then like art history, I have like every two weeks. It just depends, whatever. And you can totally go ahead and I could finish art history in a month since I don't have a lot of actual lessons for that. And I could be done with it prematurely and not have to do it for the rest of the year, you know? And they also have live lessons. So you will have You'll know, your teacher will either send it in an email or it'll be on a message board, like Honors World History I have on Mondays at one o'clock where it's just the teacher teaching you physically. Is that the right word? I don't know. But there's other kids, it's not just you, and you can hear the teacher's voice. It's live and they have a little like PowerPoint that they can write on, they can flip through, and that just like is going over what's coming up in the week or going over like you can prepare for a test. It just all depends on what the teacher wants to do. And there's like a little chat log on the side that you can answer questions if the teacher is like, all right, so what's this? Or how are you guys doing this? Or what do you want to talk about now? And you have to clock in six hours every single day and you don't, definitely don't have to have all six hours like staring at your computer screen doing that. The six hours also counts as reading or doing arts and crafts or doing any type of physical activity, anything like that. I don't know if that's the same with all other online schools, but that's just what it is for mine. So yeah, that was just basically a quick overview about online school. If you guys have any questions, feel free to tweet me or comment down below. I'll try and answer all of them if I get any, I guess. But if you guys want to know like anything that I didn't really go over, I'm here all the time. I'm always home to answer your questions. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!